I guess you love movies. I do too. Hi guys and welcome back to another classic movie review. Today we're going to be talking about A Cat on a Hot Tin Roof uh, starring Paul Newman, Elizabeth Taylor and Burl Ives. And this film um, is about Paul Newman, who's an alcoholic, um, who's married to Elizabeth Taylor's character and their marriage is on the rocks. There's obviously some tension between them um, and Paul Newman doesn't want anything to do with her. Um, he's blocking her out and Elizabeth Taylor doesn't seem to know why um, and keeps trying to, you know, get back the compassion that they obviously had for each other before. While this is happening, Burl Ives, who plays Paul Newman's father in the film, has cancer. And before long, you find out that he is um, terminally ill and will eventually die. Throughout the film, you find out more and more about Paul Newman's past and what made him an alcoholic and what has made him the man he is now. Uh, as well as a lot of other family drama uh, strewn throughout the story. So what did I think about this film? Well, um, the Pulit it's a Pulitzer Prize um, winner um, play um, and, I've, and I thought that overall the biggest thing about this film I loved was the acting. The acting was amazing. Um, Paul Newman may give one of the best performances of his entire career here. Um, Paul Newman is always charismatic, but he plays a broken man in this film, and there's so much emotion in his performance, so many great moments of, of acting and close-ups of his face, and he's so evocative of his emotion throughout the film, um, and he plays a brilliant character and really deservedly was nominated for a um, Best Actor Oscar. Um, Elizabeth Taylor is also excellent throughout, um, her overall character arc is fantastic. I also really enjoyed his father, played by Burr Lives, who actually won a Best Supporting Actor Oscar for The Big Country um, the same year as Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Um, and he's also excellent in this film, very entertaining and very funny at times. Um, and I think this is another thing that I really enjoy in the film, it has a really solid tone. It has its dark moments, but it also has its comedic moments, and it has its entertaining um, pieces of dialogue, and I think it has a very good script, the acting is fantastic, um, and this is what makes this a very, very strong movie. I mean, this is a great film. I mean, it truly is. I think the themes that it talks about, the importance of love and memories and guilt and pain, this is all themes that are... Um, brought up throughout the film and explored, and I think they do that exceptionally well. You know, it's decently shot, um, but it's not a very flashy film in terms of visually. Overall, it's all about the performances and all about this script, and I think, you know, you can tell it was originally a play, and I think it translated brilliantly to film. Overall, I thought this was a brilliant film. I really thought this was great. It really took me by surprise. I was expecting a good film, but maybe not quite as good as this. Um, and I'm going to give Cat on a Hot Tin Roof 9.5 out of 10. So there you go, that's my classic movie review of Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Hopefully you enjoyed, if you did, drop your like, subscribe, drop your comments down in the section below. I can talk now. Um, you know, again, let me know what other classic movie reviews you would like to see. Hopefully I'll have even more out for you soon. Um, I'll have a Lady from Shanghai review either up already or up after this, so look out for that. And hopefully you enjoyed this video, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Goodbye.